Hey Taurus, how are you guys? I hope everybody's well. So this is going to be your general love reading for December 2021. Well, the first half of December anyway. And it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. If you want though, you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, let's see, Taurus, what is going on with you? First half of, ooh. First half of December. I feel some jumpiness here. All right, we have free will. Okay, so you or somebody that you're dealing with may have been having issues with their own free will, exercising um, what it is that they want, or possibly just even speaking their truth. So yeah, let's let's see what's going on here. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. And Venus. I'm telling you, these cards are jumping out like crazy. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles, which just showed itself, which does talk about feeling alone, feeling abandoned, or somebody feeling abandoned. Uh, let's see. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> First half of December. All right, for the situation, we have the Page of Cups crossed by, there it is, that Five of Pentacles. Um, yeah, I feel like this is somebody wanting to express how they feel. Could be you, could be your person. Um, but there's possibly a fear of rejection here. So I feel like that's where this free will might be coming into play. Like somebody wants to talk, somebody wants to open up emotionally, but that fear of rejection is keeping them from acting on that free will. Uh, let's see, the recent past, we have the Two of Wands. Near future, we have the Eight of Wands. All right, so possibly some kind of a uh, um, crossroads here. Somebody was contemplating a lot of thinking in the recent past, not being able to make a decision. But I do see that actually um, shifting here in the near future with the Eight of Wands. I mean, this is all about movement, communication, direction, action. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, for your energy, we have the Five of Wands. For them, we have the Three of Pentacles. More about you is the Devil. For them, the Knight of Pentacles and Potential outcome here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so it does feel like there's a bit of earth here, especially in the other person's energy. Um, so some of you might be dealing with another earth sign. Um, definitely we have Capricorn showing up here as well. And we also have fire, um, but of course could be could be any sign. Um, yeah, I feel like in the recent past with this Two of Wands, actually, that there's, it almost feels like there was also like some kind of a plan, um, something that somebody was thinking about, but just not taking action on it for the fear of the rejection. But there is some movement or at least some communication that is coming up here. Okay, so that's definitely something. For you, um, why are you conflicted? I'm getting that there might be some drama that you are involved with, possibly with people who might even be outside of this connection. Okay, because with the Five of Wands and the Devil, mm, it doesn't feel like you're in your best energy right now. It just feels to me like there's outside influences here. Um, other people that you are up against, possibly, and it's possibly affecting you in terms of this connection. Um, for them, I feel like this, this is somebody who wants to compromise or who wants to work with you. And it does feel like they are, they're not moving very fast though. So actually, but we'll see though, because then we have this eight of wands. So it could be them, but maybe this is you actually. I see this person just really trying to um, work with you. Like if you are in some kind of chaotic energy right now, maybe you're holding on to some fears or maybe there's, maybe you're holding on to a toxic relationship um, or just involved in like a drama filled 
toxic situation. I feel like this person is just kind of going with the flow, um, being patient, but just kind of like working with you, but like on the sidelines. It's coming in like that. And then for the potential outcome, yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, that's definitely some work being put in. So that's a pretty good outcome considering that Five of Wands and the Devil that's showing up for you. Do keep in mind the roles can definitely be reversed here, all right? So let's clarify and get more details here. Let's see this page of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, the Hermit, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so a lot of Earth showing up here. Some of you might definitely be dealing with another Earth sign or somebody maybe who has a lot of Earth in their chart because we do have Virgo um, showing up here as well. Uh, yeah, you know, whoever this is, and I'm still not clear if it's you or, or them, um, I do kind of get the feeling that it's you. But then again, roles can be reversed. Um, but I'm just going to go with this as if it's you. Um, you're keeping yourself back from communicating or from take, from opening up emotionally. Um, even though you really want to. I mean, look at that. We have in the Page of Cups and then the Knight of Cups. And it's like there's you're just overthinking so much about what might happen or about possibly being rejected that it's like you're compromising again your your free will or what it is that you want to do and so i feel like you're staying in this hermit energy like like isolating yourself rather than acting on what what your heart is telling you here and you know maybe you have good reason to do so i don't know I'm not judging, just reading the energies. Um, but let's see, let's see that Five of Wands. All right, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're up against something here. You're up against something here and I feel like I feel like you're struggling to really find your own sense of self-worth and trying to make things happen for your own self, especially in regards to to a particular commitment, but it's almost like because again, I, I just can't help but feel like this is outside energy. I feel like somebody is trying to sabotage you. Um, there's some manipulative energies here that are playing out in a particular commitment. I'm not sure if it is this person that's down here. It could be for some of you. I feel like for some of you it might be the same person and then for others of you this is a completely different person and I feel like that shows up quite often <laughs> in the Taurus readings. Because um, I do get like this is just like other people. Um, outside of this connection, the one that we're looking into down here. So really interesting. Um, yeah, there's another commitment here or another situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a love commitment, but it can be where there is some manipulation that's going on. And it's like you're, you're fighting to really find yourself through that and to find your own authenticity your own free will here. Let me see this devil. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the devil just showed up again. Um, the two of wands showing up again as well. S strength and the devil. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely very, very strong. It's a very, very strong energy. And again, I'm getting like a very similar message. Like you're fighting through this toxic whatever that is manipulating or trying to manipulate you. And it's like this energy is trying to keep you down. It's trying to keep you from um, being your true authentic self. It's trying to keep you from being that empress. 
um, where the Empress would e would be, you know, self-reliant, independent. Like, I feel like the Empress, like, basically embodies all the energies of the Nine of Pentacles, which is all about um, being self-reliant, having a high sense of self-worth, um, but also the Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, very, very nurturing and, and taking care of one's own self. And also being um, very stable and grounded within oneself. So I feel like that's what you are trying to achieve. And there's this other energy here from the outside that is trying to take that away from you or keep you from getting there. So, uh, and I feel like that's what this devil's energy is, is your, either your participation in that or, you know, you allowing that, giving your power away. And I don't feel like you're fully giving your power away is what I'm trying to get at, is that I feel like you're fighting against this. You're, you're really standing strong against that. It might be taking you a little bit of time here and it might make you question certain things, certain paths, like trying to decide what you should do or which way you should go. And I know this sounds very unrelated to what I was talking about before, so I don't know. I mean, maybe you would know how if this ties in or maybe it's just two separate things here that are happening for you. I don't know. But that's what I'm seeing here. So let's see. Um, and I mean, I guess this could be tied up to your to a fear of rejection, all right, if this is you. But it could definitely be the other person who has that fear of rejection. But let's see. Let's see that three of pentacles for them. the seven of pentacles the nine of cups and i do feel like this king of swords also wanted to come out i feel like this this is a person here who knows what they want this is somebody who knows that they want this connection with you um, but again, I feel like they're moving very cautiously like just taking very small steps here like in um with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like more just trying to organize the whole situation, possibly in their heads. Although they know that this is what they want. This is like this connection with you is their wish fulfillment. And they're very, very determined about that. Um, they, want the, they want any kind of a connection with you, even if it's just a friendship. But again, this person is very, um, I feel like they're very cautious. So they're trying to think very reasonably, very logically. So it could even be that this is the person who has that fear of a rejection as well. And not really communicating what they want. Holding back a little bit here. Let me see that Knight of Pentacles for them. The Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, th this is definitely somebody who wants this um, wants this with you, and I feel like they're very they're very stressed at the moment because they're not with you. This person is is not with you. And again, what I'm getting here is that this person is moving very cautiously, so probably not much at all. And that is also what is stressing them out because they wish that they could just take action and move very quickly towards you and to have this Ten of Cups with you, right? This happily ever after. So this free will and this holding back on emotions, this fear of rejection, it could be them. It does make sense now that it could be them. And for some of you, it could definitely be the both of you as well. Well, let's see what's coming up. Let's see that Eight of Wands. Because there's definitely some action here. All right, the, ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, so Ace and Two of Pentacles in two pages. Um, yeah, this is... It's feeling like something new. 
something new, movement towards a new, a new path, although it's shaky. I feel like um, with the, having two pages here, this could definitely be communication coming in, all right, if you are not in communication. And that was even, you know, the very first card out here is somebody wanting to communicate, right, having that fear of rejection. I see that there is some kind of communication that is coming up here. But I feel like this communication is, again, it's going to be very cautious, all right? So I don't know if it's going to be you that initiates or if it's going to be them that initiates. It mostly feels like it's them, but it definitely could be, could be you. And it's going to be very, I, I see it as being small to start with. Um, just like maybe for some of you, it could even just be a very, very small gesture, like a hint of communication. For others of you, it could definitely be full on communication. But again, it's going to set, be very like practical or just, um, yeah, very subtle very subtle and it's going to feel very um, shaky. All right, that's a start though. Let's see that Eight of Pentacles. Which is the potential outcome. Ooh, the Lovers, the Chariot, and the Four of Wands. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, well, first of all, let me just point out that we have Gemini and Cancer energy showing up. Um, there's a, in the chariot, I mean, that's just more movement, more action towards love, basically, towards stability and love. I mean, and I'm not saying that this is happening, all right, necessarily, like, bam, like, in the beginning of December. It could be for some of you, but there's definitely a lot of work towards that, all right, or a lot of focus towards that. Like, the, the speed is definitely picking up here when it comes to a love connection and stability within this love connection. So, yeah, Taurus. I don't know what this devil's energy is or who that is because I don't feel like it's it's you necessarily. I feel like you are giving a little bit to that devil's energy, but I don't feel like it's your energy. I feel like it's coming from the outside, as I was saying. All right, so if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. Of course. All right, and we have the new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. <laughs> Yeah, apparently it is. So yeah, Taurus, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.